a new young artist who's going to be crafting with us today. Some of you already know her and those of you who already know her obviously know that she is absolutely, absolutely awesome. So if you're going to give me just one minute, we're and she is gonna be joining us in just about a second. So, one, two, three. Yes, I think somebody guessed it. Somebody saying Deepika is gonna come on live. Thank you, Ria, for guessing that. That is very true indeed. That's exactly who's gonna join us in just about a minute. Priyanka. So, we're just waiting for the connection to go through. The internet these days can be a little tricky sometimes, and um, it makes us wait. It makes us wait a little longer. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. How are you? Um, pretty good, but I think I'm not visible. But we can hear you, we can see you. I think I should try it again. All right, well, fantastic. I'm really glad that you can hear us and we're excited that we can hear you as well. We'd love to see you. Um, and oops, I think um, it says that it is not connecting. Let me, let me just try that once again. Thank you, everybody, for just bearing with us while we get this sorted out. So just one more minute, maybe. And let's try this once again. So we're trying this one more time. Okay, we have lots of wonderful people joining us. A lot of people saying hi. Hello, everyone. I'm just waiting for Deepika. Yes, I know a lot of people are waiting for Deepika, right? <laughs> so that's fantastic. Deepika and of course, Kavya, who's going to be joining us as well. So we're just going to give this one more minute and hopefully... Hi. Oh, okay. <laughs> we made it work. <laughs> <laughs> How are you so guys? glad to join you. Yes, we are delighted to be crafting with you today on Create Together. So, welcome. And how are you Pretty. both doing today? Say hi, Kavya. Hi. So, those of you who um, already know Deepika, uh, Deepika, of course, is a fantastic mommy vlogger. We've had the privilege of being associated with her since about a year now um we've been doing things on and off with her um we love following all her wonderful posts that she does on parenting and of course um she's just come out with her ebook as well so congratulations on that Deepika. we thank you so much thank you so much Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, I'm actually having some trouble listening because your uh, voice is pretty low. Can you please go in and your phone, please? Yeah, so uh, can you just repeat this show? Sure. No, I just I just told everybody that you know you've come up with this fantastic new ebook, and we'd love to hear maybe a couple of sentences about that from you itself. Oh, oh, that would be great. My mera ebook ka promotion ho raha hai. So much. <laughs> okay. So this this ebook is about you know uh, I have written some uh, love stories. There are some twenty six love stories, but I have compiled mm -hmm. these love stories into eleven short chapters. So this okay. ebook is you know uh, the kind of environment we are for the past three months. I want to write something positive, something happy, which will take you in a trance. You know, it will not talk about <laughs> so it will take you to the mills and moons era when you okay. think about okay, night with the <laughs> shiny armor and stuff like that. Despite my husband was sitting beside me when I was typing those words, but still I was imagining those, you know, the, the, the handsome hung coming on the horse, looping me around. <laughs> Well, so yeah, this book is he's, he's, the, he's that person exactly as well in his own way. Mm, I true, true, true. I'll just I'll just fix up the earphones because it's pretty um I hope it won't hurt. <laughs> sure, take your time, yeah. please. Yeah. Perfect, 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 perfect. No, okay. usually I do not use earphones being live. Because you know it creates some kind of uh, static, and I don't want that. But right now, I think it's working absolutely fine. <laughs> yes, I think it. I mean, it's it's great for me. I don't know how is it for everybody else. So, um, and I think 
people are okay because I can uh, receive a uh, uh, thumbs up from all the friends. Okay, perfect, perfect, great, wonderful. <laughs> Well, great to get everything sorted. I mean, I haven't, I must confess, I haven't read your book so far, but it sounds very exciting and I'm surely going to go um, try that out very soon as well. Now, I have not yet put it on fingers uh, because as I'm a first time author, so I'm, you know, for some time I want to keep it free so that I can get the reviews from people. Sure. There's so much about my ebook, I just don't want to put it on fingers. Thumbs up saying the voice and the video and everything. Cool. 
great. <laughs> right. Thank you for giving us all that feedback, guys. It really helps uh, make things better for you all who are viewing. Because obviously, we, we don't hear exactly what you hear. So um, it's nice to keep uh, getting that feedback. So do keep those comments rolling. We'll try our best to answer them as much as we can while we go along. If we miss something, sorry, we'll try to come back to it. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, so shall we start with some quilling? Shall we show some of these people what quilling is? Yes, yes, yes. So we can all do that. Yes, so we are ready with our... Um, I'll just turn, turn it. Sure. Yeah, so we are ready okay, with, with our, our quilling set. Wow. Fantastic. I'm going to turn my camera also, guys, so that you can see... Uh, maybe a little bit of what my table looks like as well. I don't think mine is nearly as colorful as Kavya's yet, but we'll get there. Yeah. <laughs> she the green one. So Kavya loves Barbie, so she has a Barbie spiral station, and she's pretty proud of it. <laughs> How sweet! Lovely. I'm I'm glad you have the Barbie yeah. spiral station, which is all nice and pink because you like Barbie. I'm guessing you like the color pink then too, right? Yeah, so this uh, we have the white sheet over here and we have the short uh, strips, we have the long strips, we have one glue, some pencils, scissors and we are set to go. Spiral station. Yeah, she, she says most important, the battery in the spiral station. Okay, fantastic. Um, okay, so I did find a little bit of a pause somewhere along the way of that because of connectivity, but I hope that everybody is able to see this for us. Okay. Is that fine? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you loud and clear. Guys, I'm really sorry. I don't know if you guys can hear me, see me. I am finding it a little bit difficult to connect with Deepika. And I hope that we can get that connection fixed in just a very, very short while. Um, in the meantime, I am... Okay, I sorry. just got a message saying Imagine Make video is paused. Are you guys able to see it now? I hope so. Yeah. I hope it's better yeah. now. Yeah. Okay. 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 Sorry about that, guys. I, I really don't know what went wrong, but I hope that it does not happen again. Um, let's try to get into a little bit quilling. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for the feedback once again. Appreciate the feedback. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue with a little bit of quilling. So, um, let's see, let's see how the quilling goes and, and I just hope once again that you can see me but we will try to keep looking into comments so if there is any problem then please let us know and we'll try to fix it. Okay, so yeah, quilling for those of you who don't know. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I'm really sorry, Deepika, but your voice is kind of coming broken up to me. And um, if I'm speaking, if I'm interrupting you, I do apologize. No problem, no problem. Okay, so um, just to kind of 
get started with quilling. So as some of us already know, quilling is something that we do with these strips of paper. Kavya and Deepika were telling us a bunch of different tools that we can use and then we're going to try to convert these coils into some beautiful creations. So for those of you who are quilling along with us um, and you already know quilling, you can of course go faster than we're going. Kavya, you of course can go at your own pace as well and as of now we're all just uh, making coils. So go at your own pace, make as many as you like, we'll figure out a way to use them and make something lovely with them as we go along. Okay, so, so we I'm are quilling as, as well. As we are quilling as well. So Kavya has just finished making her first uh, quill. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, she is asking which size do we want? Do we make all the sizes? A, B, C, D. Yes. You can make or you can make all the different sizes. We can figure out a different way to use the different quills as well. Okay, so, so what are different sizes? Yeah, what I have done over here, guys, is I've used the manual quilling tool. So this is kind of like a manual pen, which you can insert the paper in and use it to help you just roll the paper around into the coil. And just like what Kavya was asking about the sizing, you could sometimes just have it expand on its own, the coil, and let it be whatever size you want it to be. But I am actually making this as a set of four coils, which I want the four coils to be the same size. So I'm going to use a small little sizing board or a stencil like this one, which um, is going to make sure that my coils are of the same size. So um, and to, and to glue the coil shut, as some of you know, we at Imagimic have these strips where there's glue at the end of the strip. So I'm going to take that out and there's glue already over here. But if you're using any other strips or if you do some glue to stick the shut as well. All right. And it's lovely to see Kavya making all these coils at the same time as well. So um, we have this one right here. And I think I like the way Kavya is doing it. So I'm going to try to use maybe the same machine that she's using it as well. So let's see if I can do that. I'm going to bring this guy into focus. So this, of course, is... Let's make small ones. <laughs> so so we will reveal a little bit of the secret we today are trying to quill a underwater scene that's right isn't that kavya yeah So our underwater creatures are what we're making today. Kavya, if you can hear me, can you tell us what you want to make today in, inside the ocean? What kind of creatures do you want to make? Fish, crab, octopus, two fishes. Okay. Two fishes, one crab, okay. Uh, okay. Two fishes, one crab, okay. one octopus. Okay. Okay, wow. And All a right. starfish. So we're gonna Oh my goodness, and a starfish, okay. <laughs> That's a lot of wonderful creatures under the ocean and they are going to look so lovely. Um, we're going to try to make everything that you just mentioned within this little bit of time that we have. But if we can't, then we'll try to post some tutorials online um, about making whatever we couldn't make as well. So I've made this big coil over here, Kavya, for the body of my octopus. So you were asking me about sizes earlier. So if you want this to make... This one is E1. E. 
Yes, yeah, we can in the e now. Yes, okay, perfect. And how many legs does an octopus have? Two. Octopus has, a, has eight legs. Perfect, that is true. An octopus does have eight legs. But when we're looking at the octopus from only one side, we may not be able to see all the eight legs, right? So maybe, is it okay if we show in our quilling four legs of the octopus? Yeah. Okay, perfect. So we're going to need four smaller coils to make the four legs of the octopus, right? Yeah. So you have to make four small coils. Okay. One, A, one. Yeah, A. A or B. Exactly, exactly. I need one A, one. Okay, so you make now B also. I need B also. Use the short strips and make a C. Right, you have to make four, four, right? Because you have to make four legs. That's what Nishanti is saying. Yes. And Kavya, what do you? What color is your octopus going to be? It's going to be pink and please no pink, Kavya. <laughs> so for Kavya, everything is pink or purple. And blue. And blue. Okay. Rainbow colors, yes. Rainbow colors are always fun, right? Because there's a little bit of everything in it. So I have over here my octopus, which is, I think, going to be in purple. And I have a lot of yellow coils. So is it okay if mine is purple and yellow? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, all right. So I have some coils ready for my octopus. And you said we're going to make a fish as well. Shall we make? Three, four. Which one is this? A B. These are. This is A. This is B. So one more. Just one last. And it's Ajay, the last Ajay. one. Okay, so shall we make some of the coils for the fishes as well first, and then we go ahead and start the shaping after that. Is that okay? Yeah, 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 sure. Okay, thank you so much for that. Go ahead. Yes, why don't you go ahead and finish up all your legs and in the meantime maybe I can show um, our viewers one more tool of quilling that we have. Yeah? Shall I do that? Alright, perfect. Thank you. So this right here is what we call the super quiller. And the super quiller is a handheld machine as compared to the spiro station or the Barbie spiro station, which Kavya is using. And essentially it does the same thing. It has a slot over here, like the spiro station or the manual pen did. And we have to press this button to make the coil. But as you can see, it's a little bit faster <laughs> than the spiro station. And sometimes that speed is nice to have. Sometimes it's a little tricky, but you just get a little bit used to it and then it becomes more and more fun so i used an orange strip and maybe i'll make my fish orange Kavya, is that okay can i make one orange fish oh wow look at that see now mom's happy that you're not making everything in pink right yeah. <laughs> Yellow and orange combination for the fish. Okay, that sounds really good. I think I'm going to use the yellow and orange combination for the fish as well. So we have one fish, which is going to be in yellow and orange. We have an octopus um, for which we've made some coils. And I'm using all my different tools of quilling that I have over here. But guys, you... Everybody who's viewing us, y'all can literally do quilling with any of these. You don't need to have everything around. You can just choose um, any one of them. Or, you know, the last time we did the live session like this, we actually had a couple of very interesting entries come in where people had cut up their own strips of paper at home using some colored paper and quilled it using just their own hands and that was really really beautiful as well so everybody who's viewing if y'all want to join in and make more make more mm -hmm. perfect so 
For my fish curry, I'm also going to use two very tiny little tight coils to make a little pouty mouth for the fish. Okay. Okay? So I have cut up my strip of paper. I've made it into half. So it's just a small strip of paper like this, you know, and I'm going to make it up. I'm going to put it into what we call a tight coil. Is that okay? Can you show it again? Yes, of course I can show it again. I'm going to do the next one with the same tool that you're using as well. So it's even easier to see. All right. Okay. So let's bring this guy closer inside the frame. Yeah, there we go. And I have this tiny piece of paper. It's about half the size of the strips that you have. But it doesn't matter what size it is. You can make it bigger or smaller. It doesn't matter actually. And I'm going to put that paper inside this and press the button. So it's going to go ahead and make the coil. Right? I'm going to eat orange. You've done an E orange? Okay, perfect. But that can be the body of our coil, of our fish, right? So you have to make very tight, tiny one too, so that it will become the fish eyes. Okay, so tiny one will be very tight. Black. Black. Make this. Make with this. You don't have black, right? Yeah. It's okay, you don't need black. I'm going to use these tight coils for the pouty, pouty mouth of my fish. You know? like the lips or the mouth of my fish so a tight oh, coil is when we don't expand the coil when we just let it be like glue it up right after that we take it out is that, is that for the fish eye um no i think i'm gonna yes. use it for, for the, the fish mouth. mouth like this okay here let me show you okay so let's say this is the body of my fish i'm gonna put two of these coils over here and then we're gonna put an eye on it and then you're going to see, we're going to put a little tail behind it and we're going to see what that looks like as well. Oh. Okay, so you know what, Kavya? I think I'm going to try to use some of the coils that I've already made for the crab. I think you mentioned that we should try making a crab as well. Is that right? Yes, okay. And what kind of shall we make the crab? I am curry. I'm making the fish crab. I'm still making the fish's eyes. You're making the fish's eyes with the quilling as well? Is that is that what you just said? Yes, okay. So I have some red coils over here that I had made from before. And I'm going to see if I can convert those into a crab. And let's see. Do we have time to make a couple of quick coils more? Those can be for the second fish that we spoke about. Is that okay? All right. the fish eye. Okay, so I'm going to use pink this time, your favorite color, because I wanted one of the fishes at least to be in Kavya's favorite color. Is that, does that sound good? So I need, I need two colors for this fish though. I need pink and I need one more color. What, what do you think the second color in the fish should be if, if one color is pink? And for those of you who don't have a board at home, you can just expand the coil simply like this as well, and that works too. So, um, you know, while some of these tools are really nice to have, but there's really no compulsion. Quilling is all about transforming these strips of paper, basically, into wonderful creations. So you can literally just choose to... Yeah. All right, Kavya, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to use pink for 
a part of the fish, the second fish. And can you tell me what other color should I use with pink? I want one more color. I want, I want a color suggestion from you. Which color do you think would look good with pink? I guess blue will look nice. Blue will look nice. Okay, let me see if I have a blue coin. Alright, yeah, so maybe, Kavya, what if we make this our last coil and then get into some shaping so that we can show everybody how we can make shapes with these coils as well? Is that okay? Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, and then if we want to, because I know I haven't made enough foils to make everything. Like, I don't think I've made enough foils to make the starfish as well. So, if we have more time, we can come back to making it later. Or we can... Alright, so I have a blue coil that I have just made as well right here. Okay, fantastic. Right? So, shall we start shaping? No, I guess I have to tell with the fishes I have here. Shiz, are you ready? We'll just make fish body fast, fast. Just give us okay, a no, minute. Okay, no, don't worry. We shall wait. We shall wait. We shall wait. We shall wait. I'm doing a big fish body. Make it easy, easy for anything. Your fish body should be big. So, it will be E or D. E or D. Yeah. E. Tell me E. Okay, so C. I am going to actually try to find some googly eyes. Who knows what googly eyes are? Alright, so I'm going to try to see if I can use some of these googly eyes for my fish eyes as well. Just because I wasn't as quick as Kavya and I don't have too many eyes that I have already made I have a lot of fishes and sea creatures over here that are emerging and I'm gonna have to give all of them eyes so if I sit to make all my eye coils right now I'm not probably gonna have enough time to make everything so those of you who have some of these things at home absolutely feel free to use these googly eyes or wiggly eyes or whatever you call them for your eyes as well but like Kavya is doing I think quilling eyes look really fantastic too so you can choose it's really up to you as to what you'd like to do with your eyes right so while Kavya is finishing up some of her coils I'm just gonna make some extra coils now so Kavya whatever I'm making right now is just some extra extra coils so whenever you're ready you can let me know and we shall jump into some shaping Yes, okay, perfect. Okay, so we're gonna start off with this fish right here, and I'm just gonna show a few different types of sea creatures with the coils that we have over here, and we're gonna learn a few simple, simple shapes of paper quilling. Okay, all right, I'm gonna start off with this. Do you know what's a drop shape, Kavya? And I'm going to give it one pinch, just one pinch over here. And what we have is something that looks like a drop of water, maybe. Yeah. So that's why we call this a drop shape. 
And that's going to be the body of my fish, this fish right here. And then I'm going to try to make the tail, but I don't like the circle tail. So I'm going to use maybe a triangle to make the shape um, for the tail. So yes, shall perfect. we try a triangle tail now? Kavya, is that okay? Triangle, triangle. So for my triangle, I'm going to give it, how many corners does a triangle have? Three. Three, perfect. So we're going to make three pinches over here. One, so that's what we did for the drop. And then one more, right? So that's two. And for those of you who, if you want to make a semicircle, you can just stop over here. This is like a semicircle. But I want a triangle. So I'm going to give one more pinch over here. And that is actually going to become a triangle. And this triangle is going to go behind here, just like this. And that's my first fish. Easy, isn't it? Yeah. All right, perfect. So we're going to jump into the octopus next. Oh, that's cool too. Your fish can have a diamond tail. That would be so much fun. She can get a high of a diamond. I need a triangle. But a diamond tail would be so cool. Yeah. It's like it's like the fish is already wearing jewelry, right? The fish is all dressed up to go to a party, maybe. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so for the octopus, she's having know. so much fun. Isha, thank you so much for having us. She's having <laughs> such a good time. I'm so happy to hear that. Very, very happy to hear that. So I've just made this body of the octopus using a drop shape as well, just like um, we did for the body of the fish. And I'm going to turn these into the legs of my octopus. And we're going to learn a new shape as we turn these into the legs. But before we come that, before we do that, I'm going to jump to the crab for just a minute, okay? So for the crab, we're going to make the eye shape. Do you know what the eye shape of paper filling is, Tavia? Oh, nice drop. I like the drop. Here. Yes, very nice, very nice. So for the eye shape, we're going to give two pinches. So just like we did for the drop, we have one pinch. And then we're going to go all the way to the opposite side and give one more pinch for the eye shape, right? So this is the eye shape because it looks like an eye, right? And this is going to be the body of my crab. And then I'm going to give some crab legs. Oh, that is so cool. That is perfect. That is an awesome, awesome shape indeed. But see, I think it is a little fatty bit maybe. In the middle, it looks, it should be a little fatty. Yeah. No, it's just a little low. Yeah. That's okay. That's okay. Just like us, some of us are thinner and some of us are a little less thin. So, <laughs> all our sea creatures. I made the second one also. You made the second one also? Okay, very nice. Very, very nice. Perfect. That is perfect. That's so nice. So, now we have made this. It's like this. Yeah. We have our little yeah. crab emerging over here. Okay. More or less looks like a crab. A little bit like a crab. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Really yeah, yeah. Okay. Yay! Thank you. So nice to get a thumbs up from Kavya. <laughs> so we're going to twist the eye shape to make the legs of the octopus. Okay. So I'm going to take the legs of the octopus. Yeah, I'm going to get it two pinches just like we did for the eye of the crab so I have the eye shape 
and then I'm going to grab these two pointy ends and twist them in opposite directions okay so kind of like this 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 okay yeah so that is gonna give me the leg one of Mr. Octopus. Like this. Like this. So much. Yes, that is perfect. That is absolutely perfect. That is the perfect, perfect octopus leg that we could have. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing for all the four coils of the octopus. And now we have all four of them ready. Yeah. That's okay. You can take your time. You can take your time. Don't worry. We have all the time. fishes right now and if you want to add some more after we're done you can do that as well we have about a <laughs> say, <laughs> the fat fish the polo polo fish this one right yeah so for the the fattest golu polu fish in the world. I'm gonna keep this coil just like this. I'm not gonna do anything to the body. But for the tail, I don't feel like keeping it round. So I'm gonna make the tail two small drops, okay? So I'm gonna give it a pinch one. Over here. Two small drops. A pinch two over here. So that is gonna become the tail for me. And now all we need to do is give it some eyes. Give all these guys some eyes. Yeah? So I'm also done with the fat fish. You're also done with the fat the fish. That is awesome. So yeah, yeah. I, I'm going to use some of these googly eyes that I have. And I think you were quilling some eyes. Is that correct? Yeah, I'm done with the eyes. I'm okay. done with the eyes. Yeah. I mean, can we use those sequins or glitter things for the eyes? Of course, that would be lovely. That would be all sparkly, sparkly eyes. That would be so cool. Okay, right. And you can you can give it all different colored ones also. We are done. We just have to stick it, stick those together now. Perfect. So, Kavya, I understand that we want all your friends who are viewing this to also try some of this stuff out at home, right? Yes. And are we going to give them a little surprise for trying it out? Shall we give them a little surprise for trying out some pulling? So, we have our octopus. Octopus, we have the fish ready. Oh, wow. Which is left. You have the triangle thing left. I mean, teardrop and the triangle. I'll just do that. The teardrop. Do you make the triangle and teardrop is okay? So, could you ask Auntie to just tell us once again how to make a triangle? Auntie, can you show how to make the triangle again? Yes, absolutely, I can. But you just have to give me one minute because I um actually yeah. ready. So I'm gonna quickly make a coil first so that I can show you how to make the triangle shape. 
and thank you so much for asking um anybody else have any questions please do start sending them in we would love to be able to answer your questions as well but we do have uh, about just another 10 15 minutes so do request you to send in those questions really quickly all right so here we go i am going to let that expand over here and my voice Wow, look at that. Wow, there's a purple and yellow and green octopus and there's a fish and there's a crab. That is so cool. I love it, Kavya. That's amazing. Crab's eyes. Good job. Good job. Crab's eyes colorful. You're going to make the crab's eyes colorful. So cool. I like that crab a lot. <laughs> So are you ready? Shall I show you the triangle now? I'm not ready. Please show me. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. So we're going to start off with the drop by putting one pinch over here. Right? So we... Oops. Sorry. So we have the drop. Right? Yeah. We are ready to drop. Okay? Yeah. And then we're going to... Add two more pinches, maybe over here and over here, so that we get the three corners of a triangle like one pinch over here and another pinch over here. Okay, now triangles can be fat triangles, short triangles, any kind of triangles, right? Doesn't matter, you just need three corners. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Yay. My, my triangle is saying hi fi to your triangle. She actually said one chocolate on her side. You've done a good job. <laughs> <laughs> a diamond shape also here. One more. Oh, wow. Look at that purple coil. A triangle. Perfect. Because see, this is not Kavya, your ocean view looks so nice. I wish I could just jump right into the ocean and go snorkeling with all the fishes. Wouldn't that be cool? Me too, me too. Do you like to go swimming? Do you like swimming? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting more into the and all right so maybe once everything is back to normal and, and we're all safe to get out we can all go and do some swimming and maybe someday we can swim with some fishies too Actually, you know what? I have not yet stuck this, and I'll tell you why. Because I feel like painting my background. So, after maybe we're done, because I don't think I have enough time to get my paints right now. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to paint this piece of paper in blue color because I want my water to be blue. Yeah, maybe my ocean to be blue water. So, I'm going to paint this blue. And then I'm going to stick these guys on top of that. Is that okay? Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, what we like to do sometimes... Can we do it together with you? You want me to paint right now? Is that what you're saying? Okay. Um. Alright. Let me... As you said, yes. Uh, let me try to see if I can get my paints ready. <laughs> that is going to be a bit tricky, but we can we can try. Here, let's do that. I'm going to take these guys out. And yeah, what's what's there at the bottom of the ocean? I'm going to use a paper underneath this so that I can do some painting. And I think I do have some paints handy, but. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's try to do this quickly. What do you like to do? Do you like to do 
coloring with crayons or painting? How do you like to do your drawing and coloring? I will do making with crayons while pastels. All pastels. Sketch pens and oil pastels. That is lovely. I think that's a great idea. I think that is a great idea. And color pencils. And color pencils too. Wow, that's so many. That's so many art tools. So I've managed to get hold of some paint um, really quickly. And let's see if I can get everything into the view of the camera, which is a little bit tough, but we will try and we'll do the best we can. Uh, okay. So I'm going to use some blue over here, some water and some paints. I'm just using some simple watercolors that I had handy. And I'm just going to paint the water here. Can you see? Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, I can see. You can see, all right. And if you want to grab some of your other materials and do it along with me, that would be cool too. But now, you know what might just happen because I'm using a lot of water, I just realized that um, with this background, it's just going to be a little bit wet. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to stick all my fishies on it immediately so i'm gonna try but it is possible that i may not be able to do it right away Kavya. okay but if you're using crayons if you're using crayons and that's easy yes absolutely get your crayons i'm not using Color pencils. Okay, I like color pencils. What was the last drawing that you made? Do you remember what was the last drawing that you made? Oh, lovely! That sounds so yummy, 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 yummy. And did you make did you make some umpa lumpas in that as well? Wow! Have you seen Have you seen the movie or read the book? Yes, please do that. I am really, really looking forward to see it. So, what's at the bottom of our the green seaweed out there the bottom of the ocean, yes, that's true. And what is what do the green seaweeds go on? Do they go on the land? There's some land at the, at the bottom of the ocean as well, some sand. Seabed, that is true, that is true. And in order to make Exactly, and in order to make my ocean bed, I'm going to use some of this clay that I had lying around. Is that okay? So I'm just going to... I'm just going to squeeze this around. If you, have some, if you have some sand at home, you can try using that as well. And I remember once for a project, I wanted to do something like this, and I did not have anything. I did not have any sand, I did not have any clay. And can you guess what I used? It's something that a lot of us have in our kitchens. Can you guess what it was? Yeah. What? Brown paper? Brown paper, yes, we can use brown paper too. But that day, what I used was some suji. You know what is suji? You know what is rubber? Yeah. 
And then you can just go ahead and sprinkle some of um, that rubber or sugar. Or, you know, it could be any other grains too. Maybe maybe you have a seabed which has some other kind of grains on it. And that would be fine as well. Right. Or it could be made with crayons and color pencils and, um, and, and, and what else. And... I guess you're done. You're done? With the ocean, I'm done with the coloring of the ocean. So now you forget about this bed part and you start sticking how I'll be showing you. Okay, we will. We'll make two. We'll start sticking later. Yeah, we'll put a little gap. Okay, alright. Sounds perfect. Sounds absolutely perfect. Okay. So I'm almost done with mine and I'm gonna go ahead and stick up the coils as well, like you suggested. Yes. Okay, so here comes the big fish. I'm gonna hold my paper down with this guy because it's moving around a lot. So here comes my big fish. Do you have names for your fishies yet, Kavya? Have you thought of names for your fishies? Okay, so tell me, tell me what are the names? The fattest fish name. Okay. Uh -huh. My okay. It's, it's name is. It's name is. It's name is. Timmy. 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 Okay. All right. Okay. 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 So we have a Timmy and who was the other guy? <laughs> okay, those are all lovely, lovely. Absolutely lovely names. And I'm going to try to find my coils because I feel like I misplaced this guy's tail somewhere. So just bear with me one second. Ah, I think it's gone underneath this paper. Okay, there we go. Found it. Found it. Octopus. Okay. I'm happy to go ahead for a couple more minutes. Um, but. I don't know, are you, are you cool to go on for another five minutes while we finish this or do you want to What is exile? Cut to... 14 years of exile he was in. Yeah, because typically we do we do this for about an hour and I think it's going to take us probably another five minutes maybe to finish. I'm happy to continue for another five minutes if you guys want to, Deepika, or if you want to just, uh, you know, cut to a view where we can just answer some questions if there are and tell everybody about the giveaway a little bit before we wind up. Yes, yes, sure, sure, please. We'll do that. And meanwhile, meanwhile, we'll finish Okay, perfect. So let's do that. Let me change my view as well and we can try to tell everybody about the giveaway while Kavya and I try to finish up a little bit also. <laughs> so meanwhile, she is finishing her uh, octopus. Yes. So we can talk about the giveaway. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So I love all the wonderful quilling that Kavya is doing us and showing us how to make all these lovely sea creatures so nicely with her coils and quilling. And we have a few viewers here who would love to try that out themselves at home. And we have a wonderful giveaway associated with your trials and play together that you're going to be doing at home. And um, would you like to tell everybody who's for? 
मेरी पप्पा ने कॉल से अड़ी बाकी नहीं प्लीज पहले छुट्टी लो ये बस पता नहीं